First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akin pushing his truth in sincerity by Shimrokak Kodash. This video is going to be entitled A Prayer of the Afflicted. And, um, you know, basically, uh, And every now and then, you know, we have to be afflicted, you know, every now and then we have to, uh, you know, be cast down a little bit, you know, so that we don't get proud, you know, knowledge puffeth up, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, somewhat in our nature to, uh, to think highly of ourselves or to, uh, basically feel ourselves okay so this this uh, title came to mind because you know basically as brothers know you know we all get afflicted man and it's kind of like the spirit that i that that came upon me today so let's get this word affliction strong's h 6041 Ani, Ani. Poor, afflicted, humble, wretched, poor, needy, poor and weak. Poor, weak, afflicted, wretched, humble, lonely. Right? <clears throat> yeah. You know, sometimes you feel poor in spirit, man. You know, you don't always feel as strong. Okay. You, you know, you feel needy. You feel weak. You know, you feel lonely. Lowly. And all these things, uh, you know, they come upon a, a believer. You know, you, you can't always be, you know, at the top. Sometimes you get, you get cast down. And it's good. It's good, you know, but it doesn't always, you know, feel good. But, but you know, all men upon the earth understands that, you know, you have highs and lows. Okay, you, you know, you're, you're afflicted. You get humbled down. Okay, let's start here. This is Psalms 102. A prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and poured out his complaint before Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's the thing. Sometimes when you're overwhelmed, man, you, you have to pour out your complaint. You got to pray. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh, and let my cry come unto thee. Right? You cry, you cry for help. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thy ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. And when you pray, that's, that's what you say, you know, very much. I know everyone, um, you know, can say that sometimes they have to cry for help. And we ask the Heavenly Father, you know, when, when we're in trouble to, to hear us, you know, and, 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 to, and to, to help us speedily. You know, sometimes you pray, you want the Heavenly Father to, to intervene at that moment. But, <clears throat> you know, the Heavenly Father ultimately has a plan. You know, his ways are not our ways. Neither his thoughts are our thoughts. You know, sometimes we just got to go through certain things to keep us humble. You know, to keep us not not uh, proud. To keep us not, um, you know, from, 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 you know, being exalted above measure. It says, for my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned as an hearth. My heart is smitten. Yeah, your mind gets smitten sometimes. You know, you know, the, the things that you think about, it's like, <clears throat> it'd it, it be, it be a lot. You know, scriptures say, um, afflict not thyself in thine own counsel, right? But sometimes, hey, you know, your heart is smitten. You know, sometimes you, you beat yourself up in the mind, you know, your thoughts they get the best of you at times. It says, and wither like grass so that I forget to eat my bread. Sometimes you don't want to eat. <clears throat> you don't got no appetite. You know, that was the spirit I was in today, man. I didn't even, even want to eat, man. By, by reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert, right? Are you by yourself going through these things. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop, right? You'd be alone. 
in your own house, thinking about things, thinking about how you are afflicted, thinking about how you wish you could do things better, how how you know how we how much we need you, how bashimi how shy, how much you know you you really are a prisoner of hope. You know you you know all these things you know they come into your mind, you know, and, and they humble you down, and it, and it's good. Uh, there's a scripture that says. Um, Um, what is it? Countenance is made better. Let's see. Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Let's get that. Ecclesiastes 7 and, uh, you know, let me let me just go to two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and living will lay it to his heart. Right? It's better to go to the house of mourning, man. It's better to be in the spirit of mourning than it is to be in the spirit of feasting, you know? Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You see? Sorrow is better than laughter, man. You know, sometimes it's, it's better to be you know, in a sorrowful spirit than to be laughing, you know, it, sometimes, you know, you really got to contemplate and think. It's just for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, right? See, and that, that's, 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 that, that'd be hard for a lot of people to understand. Even at, even us in the faith sometimes that, you know, it's, it's better to be sad, you know, a sad countenance, okay, because your heart is made better, meaning your mind, because, you, you know, you know, truth be told, man, when, when you're in a sorrowful spirit, when you're sad about things, you really, you really look within, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, the, it's them bad times, man, that really make you understand the beautifulness of, of the good times. And, and, and it's, it's sorrow. Okay. And sadness that, that, that really, you know, help you put things into perspective. You know, that, you know, it, it's like being in a repenting spirit, you know, regrouping and moving things around and understanding where you go wrong and, you know, it's better to be thinking like that than to, you know, always be in a in, in laughing and joking. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to, you know, there's a balance. And right now we're in a spiritual war. You know, we're going through a lot of different, uh, you know, things upon the earth. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, the Lord's going to see us through it. But. Right, sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You know, it, it's funny like how true that is, man. When you come into the knowledge, it's better to really be, be lowly, you know, and 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 meditate. Okay, and and it, it makes you sharper. You know, it makes you you know a uh, uh, cleave unto the Lord. Okay, let's see. This is Psalms 119 and 75. I know, O Yahweh, that thy judgments are right, right? The judgments, you know, certain things, you know, and we, and, you know, ultimately we, we you know, we're, 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 we're casted down because sometimes there's judgment upon us, man, you know? Different things we say, different things, you know, we might have thought of things or things we might have done or, you know, whatever the case. I know, O Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, that thy judgments are right and that thou in faithfulness hath afflicted me, right? The Lord is faithful. It will not suffer you to be attempted more than what you are able, but with that same temptation, offer you a way to escape. The Lord is faithful, man. He's not going to always uh, be wrathful or cast us down, you see, but at times we need it, you know, because, man, hey, we can get proud. You know, man can get proud. That's just, that's just, I don't know. That's just uh, us being made in vanity. It says, let's see. Um... You know, that's why I always have to cleave to this word. I'm uh, Psalms 119 and 107. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according to thy word. Right. I am afflicted very much and we are afflicted, man. You know, truth be told, man, sometimes we're going through the same different type of things, man. Over and over, We, you know, we got we to gotta practice this truth till we get it right. It says, quicken me, O Yahweh, according to thy word. Right. You know, we want the Lord to deal with us, you know, make it known unto us through the scriptures, what it is, you know, that we have to, uh, uh, that we have to do, 
This is Psalms 119, 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. You see, it's good for you to be afflicted. It's good for you to be cast down, humbled. There, that way, you know, you turn to the to the Lord. You pray. You you turn to the scriptures and and you get into the Word. You know, and this this Word comforts you because you understand it. You know, ultimately, it's all in the power of Yahweh Shai. You know, that that's 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 what the uh, that's the tripped out part, if I may say that. You know, ultimately, the Lord wants you to get closer to Him. You know, you. We're supposed to be confident, but very much walking in a very humble spirit, knowing that this is the place of judgment and you will pay, okay, on this earth, you know. Therefore, you cleave to the, to the statues, you cleave to this word. Let's see. Psalms 22 and 24, for he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him, but when he cried unto him, he heard. You see, the, the heavenly father, man, hey, he doesn't despise nor, you know, the affliction of the afflicted. He doesn't despise the things that we go through. The Lord knows. The Lord knows, man, if we be those, 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 uh, the election, okay, that, it, that it's all for a cause. He's faithful, man. You know, you, you really do need um, them, them down days. You know what I'm saying? They balance you out. For he had not despised nor abhorred. What is this word abhorred? We know despised means to hate. What does abhorred mean? It means. Strong's H8262. To detest. Shakats. Shakats. To detest. The Lord doesn't hate or detest the affliction of the afflicted. Neither have he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. The Lord's hearing. The Lord's hearing us when we cry unto him, when we cry to help, when we pray, you know, Lord, you know, I want to get certain things right, you know, certain things in this knowledge that, you know, we all work on. You know, truth be told, we all have crosses to bear. We all have things that, um, you know, to the, we need to be, you know, we need to do better. But the Lord doesn't, he doesn't despise or detest the affliction of the afflicted. He knows that we want to do better. Okay, he knows that we want to perform this, this truth to the utmost. And when we cry, he hears us. Okay. Zephaniah 3 and 12, I will also leave in the midst of the unafflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. You see? Yeah, we're all afflicted and poor, man. Poor in spirit. Okay. Yeah, the flesh is willing, but the spirit is weak. And they shall trust the name of the, and the Lord, right? And we call on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Constantly, we uplift that name. Let's see. Let's get, uh, let's see. Let's get this A couple scriptures. Let's look up the word afflicted in the New Testament, in the Greek. Let's see what it says. Strong's G2553. Karkapatheo. Karkapatheo. To suffer, endure evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted. Right. And that's, that's of a truth. We, you know, a, we suffer for the kingdom. You know, we have to go through all different types of troubles. You know, we go through evils and whatnot, some small, some great, you know. And not all the time, you know, every now and then. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so let's read this. This is James 5 and 13. Is any among you afflicted? All right. Going through evils, going through troubles. Let him pray. Is any merry? And let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right. So. You know, if you're afflicted, you know, a hey, pray, okay? If you're sick, you know, a hey, it's good to call on the brothers, you know, in the church. You know, they may pray over you, put oil upon your head, okay, and, 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 and say a prayer to bless you. It says, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Okay, that's why it's good to go to the brotherhood. The brotherhood is important, man. You know, it's, it's so much to play your part in the brotherhood, you know, put your part into maintaining the peace and, and, and doing your part as, as, as teaching the word, as, um, 
being brotherly, you know, making things right all the time, you know, keeping the peace among the camp, okay, so that righteousness could flourish. And then when brothers are going through things, you pray for them, they pray for you. Uh, 16, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And, and now, you know, that's funny because um, me and the brother got together, you know, and basically, you know, we were fellowshipping, we were talking, you know, and, you know, we, hey, certain things, you know, we, we, we confess to one another, man, certain things that, you know, we need to work on, you know, and uh, for sure, the brothers pray for one another, you know, that, that, so that you can be healed, the effectual prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much, and, and it's beautiful when you pray. Um, a lot when you when you know you know real quick sometimes when you pray a lot man there's there's man there's like this uh feeling of peace that comes upon you when you pray you know throughout the day constantly especially when things are on your mind especially when especially i must say that right you know for whatever reason but when things are on your mind man that's the good time to pray man it's always good to pray you know, and do the right thing. Therefore, your prayer, it pierces the clouds. The Lord hears you and the Lord intervenes, man. All with patience, though. That's the thing, man. You know, you have to have patience. You know, that's it's one of the things. So the Lord, he'll answer you. He'll send you messages. You have to be in the spirit to, to receive them, okay? All right, so <clears throat> just a little bit on my spirit, you know, I wanted to share. Lord willing, this was... Um, edifying and uplifting to the body okay this is uh going to be entitled uh a prayer of the afflicted okay or willingness this was edifying i want to say shalom